everybody so here in this video again we are going to do the auto ml right and in this one we're gonna use auto keras all right so let's start with it first thing which we're gonna start with is importing all the required libraries like you can see pandas and numpy which i have imported though it's not going to be much useful in this particular context but i just keep it uh, installed just in case if you require to use it right then other library which you see is seaborn Ideally, this is a visualization library, but here I have not imported it for the visualization purpose. Why did I import it? Because it also provides a range of data sets. So for that purpose, I have imported it. Other than this, if you want to get the data, you can get that from sklearn as well, but I find it simple. So that's why I have imported it over here. Now, moving forward here, we are going to import the iris data set from the SNS which is seaborn library in the seaborn library we have load data set uh, function and using that you can load the iris uh, data set right and if you see this data set so this data set as sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width basis on that we have to predict the spaces all right so how many spaces are there there are three spaces in the data set each species has 50 uh, records okay so in our context because we have to just predict either one or zero this is the classification statements so what i'm gonna do is i will pick only for setosa right we will do the prediction only for setosa and for rest of the two we will not do anything okay so you see over here these are the categorical variables first we need to convert them into you know class make them as a classifier right which is one zero etc right so that can be done using multiple ways one hot encoding get dummies etc right and here what i'm going to use is i'm going to use get dummies right so if you see over here i'm simply using pd dot get dummies and into that i'm supplying the column to which i need to convert into zero and one so if you see over here wherever the this this creates three columns and each of the column would have the value either zero or one setosa has one uh, wherever the record belongs to setosa it would have one wherever it does not it will it will say zero so there is another separate video which i have created basis for the for this one hot encoding itself i'll i'll provide a link for that feel free to give it a watch now once that is this data frame is completed the next job comes to you know concatenate it with the original data frame which is this so let's see how can we do that so for that let me remove this first and let me show it to you i'll show you quickly dot hit over here All right, so what you see over here is all these three columns has been concatenated with the previous data frame. But here in our context, we only require these four. And after that, we require this setosa, right? So rest of the things I need to drop. So while I am concatenating, I can do the drop as well, right? So let's do this. This is the statement simple. You can say drop and into the square bracket, you can supply the list of all those columns which you want to drop and then say access equals to one so that it will understand that it has to drop the columns now once that is done here you can see the sample data set and after that the time comes to import the auto keras model right so from auto keras what you need to okay so first if you have not already installed auto keras so this is the syntax to install the auto keras right i'll try to provide the no a link for this notebook and you can use that and you can simply copy paste and you can download it let's go back over here so here what we are doing is here we from auto keras we are importing the structured data classifier this is the mod model which we are going to use and then from sklearn learn model selection we are importing train test split so that we could split our data into train and test model so this is the, the these are the uh, sets which we are going to create using the train test split so in train test split what we will do is from the data set for training data you see from these are the x 
right so for data set x we are just dropping the target variable target variable is setosa right so we are just dropping that and in the tar in the y data set for the y data set we are only keeping the target column which is setosa then test size we are keeping only 20 percent random state i'm putting false so that whenever we run we get the same result once this is done then time comes we when we need to make our model right so for that you simply say structure data classifier and into that you need to provide this particular parameter even if you don't provide it will be okay but it will keep on running i don't know how long okay so here i'm just saying that do the maximum trial of 10 only once this is done then in the next statement we need to do the fitment all right so into that i'm supplying the training data to fit this so once you run this it will keep on running until it completes the 10 attempt 10 trial so i'm not running it because i have already ran it if i run it it will take another uh, three to four minutes okay so just to avoid the delay i'm keeping it keeping it simple once this is completed then the time comes when we do the evaluation of this model okay so what i'm going to do over here is simple model dot evaluate and over here uh don't look at this as of now already let me just remove that so all that we need to do is model dot evaluate and here you supply the x test and y test okay to do the evaluation when you run this it gives you both of the thing loss and the accuracy so just to get the here you see this is loss and this is accuracy so i'm trying to store that into two different objects let's say accuracy and here i can say this all right this is executed and over here we have accuracy and let's print this so here it is giving you 80 percent accuracy so whatever data you have supplied it is able to predict 80 percent accurate result all right so now if you are seeing that why it is giving you only 80 percent so for that again you require to do some data you know uh, suitability work right and then you make it more suitable and then possibly you can again do the auto uh, auto ml thing and you can make it uh you know more accurate hmm? so i just hope that it was simple for you to understand just in case of you just in case of any doubt if you got any doubt put that into the comment section and i'll definitely try to uh you know reply on that comment until then happy learning wish you all the best